This is Embroidery.com. This week in Computer Tips, we're going to work with lettering and do something fun. We're going to fill an entire hoop with fun subway art style lettering, and here's how you do that. I've already created this one. Let's kind of recreate it. You can see here I have a couple of spaces left where I can put, um, I don't know, little pictures that go with it, little images of pre-digitized designs to go with the letters, or perhaps I could add more words. So I'm going to go to a new page, and this is good. I can see my whole screen. So to add lettering, the first thing we need to do is click the A. It comes in with placeholder letters, A, B, C. I'm going to type boo and start with that. I'm going to use comedy for the font, and then I'm going to change the style. I'm going to use a quick style. And to do that, I'm going to click the single line. And you notice it gives me some options for quick style. It's on normal right now. Let's change it to square left. Stick that kind of in the corner of my design. OK, next I'm going to add the word beware. And I'm going to, sit, I'm going to share the B with the previous lettering, as it, kind of as if this were a crossword puzzle. And I'm going to switch the style to jazz. And instead of square left, let's go with a vertical. And then I can just drag that where I want it to be, right under the B. Now I'm going to add Halloween. We'll do something else with a vertical, and we'll add Halloween. Typing this all in caps. And I'll pick the block font because this is kind of a long word, and I want it to be kind of small. And block is, stitches out quite well in small letters, comparatively. And now I'm going to show you something else. You, you notice the sewing order box here below the quick style. Right now it says A, B, C. That means the first letter, in my case the H, is going to stitch first, and it's going to go down and stitch until the end. But I just finished stitching here on the E, so it would have to jump up to the H. If I want it rather to jump across, I can make that change by changing the sewing order to CBA. And now it's going to jump from here to there and begin stitching. Um, I also want this to be upside down. There isn't a way to do that. The sewing order doesn't create that. I'm going to have to type it in backwards, and that's easy because it's already on screen. There. Now I have Halloween upside down. Okay, now I'm going to add the word spiders. I'm using university, and I'm going to pick the style bridge up. We'll come back to bridge top, which you see just above it in a minute. Bridge up makes um, a bridge that you could walk under. I like that look for this text. I'll just stick it up here on top. And now let's work with that bridge top. I'm going to add the word yikes and pick Bow's house for this. I will go bridge top. You see the difference how bridge top places the, the lettering so it reaches a baseline and then the Y extends a little bit past. If I don't like that, I can actually move the Y just by moving the handle. Like that. And it fits kind of nicely under spiders that way. Okay, next lettering. Well, actually, I want to move yikes. It's a little too close to boo. Okay, the next style I would like to use is diamond. So go and fetch that. And then type in my text. Push enter, it changes the text to witches. Just click in the design to move it. I'm going to stick with block for the next lettering. So I'll pick, I'm going to do 
kind of a headstone shape and you can do that with pen and up. So that make kind of a nice headstone. You can just stick that right under Boo. That was almost too easy and now we'll add ghosts. This I want to do something a little bit kind of ethereal. I'm going to pick bold cursive. So ghosts. And the style I'm going to use is pennant down. So we use pennant up to make the little tombstone shape. Actually, I'm going to move that down to make room for ghosts. And now pennant up. I'm going to click here and actually drag the rest of the letters a little bit closer. Like this. See how fun that works with cursive? You can bring the letters closer together. If I just click the middle box, then I only move the H. If I click the top box, it moves things in, at an angle. It, it's really fun to, to use that one. If I use the bottom one, it just moves everything closer. So I like how close they are. Now I need to change this, the size of the whole word to make it fit between. Now I have ghosts. For my next text, I'm going to add some creaks of a haunted house, and I'm going to use comedy. Notice I didn't type that in in capital letters, but comedy only comes in capital letters, and so rather than giving me no letters, it puts it all in capitals. I'm going to pick ascending. You see how the, the letters kind of walk uphill a little bit? I could enhance that effect this way with that handle that I showed you before as well. And I'll move that down here. Okay, I'm going to do one more word before I'm finished. That kind of gives you a, an overview of the styles available in Quick Styles. And because we just did ghosts, I'm going to do some groans for the ghosts. We'll do that in jazz and pick descending instead. Now you can see it's a little bit big. I wasn't attending very well when I put the spiders in. They're a bit high. So let's just move everything down. Move the witches. Move yikes. I may need to make spiders a little smaller because of that P there, just to get everything to fit nicely. Make that a little bigger. Anyway, there's lots of things you can do with lettering in Essentials. And you can go back through your design and pick the sewing order so that it makes sense. So for Boo, since the next thing we're stitching is Beware, I might want that to stitch backwards. I might want it, oops, I might want it to stitch backwards CBA so that it goes OOB. And let's just run the stitch simulator so you can see what I mean. Let's speed that up a bit. So it stitches my corner O, my next O. And then finishes the B. I don't actually have any control over whether it ends at the top of the B or the bottom of the B in, in Essentials. So I might want to move spiders um, in the order so that it goes after Boo. That way, when my boo ends, we can start up on spiders and not have such a long jump as it would be from the top of the B down to the E. So you can play with the sewing order to work out the jumps and, and the, the way the design stitches for maximum efficiency. And that's a fun beginning to creating subway art. 
with Embrilliance Ascent. This is Embroider.com. Thanks for watching.